In this video we're going to be looking at taking a multi-layered file and bringing it into After Effects. I have this file here from Illustrator and I've converted it into a PSD a layered file. As you can see down in the bottom uh, we have uh, a couple folders down there. One of the first things we're going to have to do is change this file from CMYK as you can see right there over to RGB. If you're bringing stuff into After Effects you're going to want to have that file in RGB color space. So we're going to go up to the top and go to Mode. We'll change that to RGB. We don't want to merge layers. If we merge the layers, all of our separate layers from Illustrator will be just condensed down to one layer. So we'll click on Don't Merge. At this point, you'll notice that it is an RGB file. And if we save that, we could jump into After Effects now and be able to bring this file into After Effects. So from After Effects, when we go to File, Import, File, We'll click on that file and then import as footage. When we import it as footage, it's going to bring up this option box. We'll make sure this says import footage here. And it's going to give us the options of either bringing in a merged layer, or we can choose an individual layer from the list of layers that was in that Photoshop file. In our case here, we're going to do merged layers. And we'll hit OK. And that brings in a single layer PSD file. So if I just drag that down to the Make Composition button, I'll end up with a composition. Same size as that file, and I just have that file. Uh, there's no way of changing any of the attributes um, in that file. One of the neat things we can do is if I jump back into Photoshop and change uh, a setting, and then jump back into After Effects, we could right-click, go to Reload, and when we reload that, that'll bring in the uh, the updated version from Photoshop. Here in After Effects, what we're more interested in doing is having a composition with all the layers still separated like in Photoshop. So let me get rid of all this stuff. We'll go to File, Import. We'll click on that PSD this time, and we'll select Composition. We can have editable layer styles. And if you have Photoshop uh, 3D stuff, we can leave that checked. Uh, I'm just going to leave both of these things on the default, the editable layer styles and the live Photoshop 3D checked. We'll just hit OK. And when I bring that in, I'm going to end up with a folder. And in that folder, I'm going to have all the little layers from uh, Photoshop, and then I'll end up with a composition. If I double-click on that composition, it'll open up uh, the file with a timeline. Since the way the PSD was in Photoshop was in folders, it's going to make two sub-compositions, two nested compositions for the uh, folders that were in Photoshop. So if we were going to manipulate any of the layers, we'd actually have to open this sub-composition and edit this layer, and then jump back to our main composition. That's really just not optimal for what we're wanting to do. So let me get rid of that stuff. Let's jump back into Photoshop and see what we could do. Back here in Photoshop, we'll open that file again. And if you notice, we had um, all those different layers inside the folders over there in Photoshop. Folders are a great way to organize in Photoshop and Illustrator. When we're taking it into After Effects and we want to manipulate all those individual layers, it can be kind of a hassle. So we just need to drag all of those layers outside of these folders. And then we can just throw away these folders here in the trash in the bottom there. We'll do a quick file save on this, jump back into After Effects. In After Effects, we'll go to File Import again. Uh, we'll make that, click that file, go to Composition, we'll do Open, and we'll have the live Photoshop and editable layer styles. We'll just leave all that the same. We'll hit OK. And once again, we end up with a folder with all the layers in there and a composition, but this time, since we move the layers outside of those folders, all the layers are actually going to be right in our main composition, so we can edit those and manipulate those. So you can see now we can edit and manipulate this Photoshop file, the layered file that we've taken some time to build here, and manipulate all these layers and animate every layer individually.